Marcel, may I ask you on stage? Yes, so this is going, yeah, you're almost here, right? So the concept of lightning talks, five-minute talks. What I will do, Marcel, when you are reaching the five-minute point, you will see me waving, doing stuff. So the floor is yours. Right. Enjoy. This one? Okay, so thank you. Um, welcome, everyone. I think it's a good handover from how to contribute to, um, yeah, to an actual contribution. I'm contributing to the community for, with different apps um, yeah, since over six years already. I started with the uh, audio player um, with quite some usage and then recently switched over to the um, analytics app. And this is what I, uh, where I want to talk a little bit about, about yeah, open source and privacy also in the terms of, of reporting. We had a lot of heard a lot of um, uh, yeah, topics and discussions also from Frank this morning. How what, what is the importance of privacy? Why we need privacy? But privacy is not only about um, collaboration. It's not only about, about your contacts, uh, uh, your pictures. It's also about data. Um, data where you're running possibly your business on. Um, it's also kept to be private and within your uh, next cloud uh, ecosystem. Um, you, um, the data is where you possibly m generate your money with and you don't want to have this one spread around um, outside the ecosystem, possibly be generating um, additional costs for uh, one of these big known, well-known uh, reporting tools. And that's why um, I started some years ago with the uh, analytics app. And this, uh, in a very short time frame, I will show um, yeah, two, uh, two of the main key features and uh, two use cases. What is the analytics app about? It um, started uh, in 2019. Uh, I, I set up uh, reporting. It's based on, on data extraction, data storage, and then also reporting um, based modular approach um, with uh, uh, different data sources, visualization, and also, of course, um, seamless integration into Nextcloud. Um, utilizing Nextcloud features like the Nextcloud flows, Nextcloud notifications, activities, sharing, a sharing solution, and of course the nice uh, Nextcloud dashboard, um, also showing KPIs and, uh, and little chart widgets into the Nextcloud dashboard. Um, quick, um, some, some important features. Uh, it's all about the data. Where is the data coming from that, that you want to uh, report in your solution? The, the whole app is on a very modular and flexible data source concept. There are several data sources which come uh, with, a, with the app um, out of the box. It's like reporting on, on files within your next cloud, um, uh, file, files app, spreadsheets, or, or, or CSV files, for example, there's an API where you can push data into the analytics um, data storage. You can put them in manually, uh, manually, or you can even get data from GitHub or any any public JSON uh, JSON data provider. Currently, work in progress are, are different connectors for um, this one connector for Salesforce. Currently, uh, in testing to reporting their all data and also SQL queries. It was a very um, you know, public request to have, to have these available. Um, very important, our data can be either reported in real time, so the data is yeah, always read from the data source in real time, or it can be stored within your next cloud environment in a data source for uh, much quicker and uh, yeah, high performance reporting. With the data itself, if you look at the visualization, it's everything you would expect. You have the charts, you have the tables, um, all the features, slice and, drill, slice and dice, filters and drill downs. Um, there's features like um, also thresholds um, for uh, th thresholds, color coding, if certain uh, certain exceptions levels uh, levels are missed. Um, there's a little dashboard within the analytics app itself showing the reports as little keeper eyes or chart widgets. Looks similar to the integration to the next cloud dashboard. And there are even the first um, financial functions which are getting enhanced. One of the, the other like trend analytics uh, and, and also um, aggregation of, uh, of data. Two um, use cases, uh, only as an example, this um, interesting one, this is a company um, that, uh, that contacted me who is using Nextcloud and the analytic app to share actual SAP data with their uh, vendors, with their deliverers, uh, and with some, some excellent storage locations. So a quite interesting use case would they have. They, were extra they have a small business, uh, small company solution from SAP, extracting data into, into Nextcloud files, and then uh, 
creating reports on these data and then sharing these with external vendors, packing lists, so they can report on the data, which shipping has which status, uh, reporting on delivery dates. Uh, pretty interesting because to get the, the, the data, the reporting data with an, X, uh, with an SAP would be pretty expensive to, to plub, uh, publish this. So they use Nextclouds plus the analytics app to simply share the data. Another common usage is the um, IoT. Classical topic, you have some sensors somewhere in your home, you get a Raspberry, um, read of the sensors, push them with the API into the Nextcloud analytic app, and then you have like um, historic reporting. The nice feature here um, is the integration into the uh, notification system from Nextcloud. For example, if you have your, um, your values read into the analytics app, and certain uh, thresholds are met, you can get push notifications on your iOS device, for example, via the standard um, iOS app. Another, uh, uh, another, another separate slide here, another famous uh, request during the COVID times was also to use the analytic apps to connect to certain health information and do a fancy charts for, uh, for COVID infections and whatever. This was the most frequent uh, request for the last years. That's it. I hope I met that five minutes. Um, looking forward to any feedback, use cases, any other suggestions. Thank you. Really cool, Marcel. Really cool stuff. Yeah. Cool app. Really cool app. So.